Hi Taurus, this is going to be your art channeled message. I channel messages through art, creativity. I really hope my messages inspire you to see the art within yourself, to be yourself, because we all start from zero, which is just a blank canvas or the fool's journey. I'm really feeling the way my sun looks right now, so that's cool, that's a vibe. And yeah, everything is art. Look at everything around you as art, as symbolic, as I always say. And if you'd like a personal reading, all that is down below, as well as how to contact me. Lastly, there's no rules to my art. There's no rules here, so you can binge watch them, share them, watch them, whatever it finds you. They're all timeless. And what's special about my messages or my art is it's like one big optical illusion. There's what you see on a surface level, and then there's the subliminals, the details, the underlying stuff. Sometimes I speak in metaphors or in an art form, but there's still a message there. You just have to look deeper. And there's a reason I describe it. Because it's because I want you to see your own like, visualization as we continue. Which I think is special because we all have a different view. We all have a different perspective. So it's like we're all mushing them together as one big art form. What I started drawing for you, Taurus is somebody with their hands in the air as if they're frantically trying to get someone's attention. I heard flagging them down, as well as saw this scenario of how hitchhiking operates, or how hitchhikers operate. One person puts their thumb up or uses a technique with their hands to alert said individual, or said car. The same goes with an SOS if you're stranded on an island. Oh my god. This is a cry for help. Instead of coming out and saying what's on your mind, you're hoping that someone stops, even a stranger. I don't know why there's emphasis on that. I heard even a stranger. And picks you up. I've seen that more so metaphorically though. It's like, will people notice I haven't been myself? Will people notice I need help? I think the sad thing about this is the emphasis on being discovered or rescued by strangers. Isn't it crazy how sometimes even the closest ones to us can't detect an SOS or a signal, but a complete stranger can often change your life more so? That's what I'm seeing here. Before we get started, I wanted to point out as well that what I drew, resembling a person, looks like a star or a starfish as well. So to the other person rescuing you in this scenario, this art theme, it's like they're looking at you as a star or a jackpot or opportunity of some sort. As you send out this cry for help. But why? Why are they viewing you that way? It's like the star or the person is signaling and then the other person's like, you there. Could also just symbolize or resemble just being drawn to something. Like, hey, that person right there, they're signaling. It looks like they need something. Might not even be directly a gesture or directly something wrong. It's just they sense it. They intuitively know. So SOS, someone save me, but save you from what? What signal are we pushing out? Okay. I hope that made sense with what I said about sometimes strangers are the ones that notice changes in you and then the people around you that know you the best can't sense when you haven't been yourself. Like, have you ever seen a post like that before where it's like, I haven't been myself in months, but closest ones to me didn't know. Or you, I've been friends with this person for years, but this person I just met made more of an impact on me than they did. I feel like it's going to be something like that. You guys have to know exactly what I'm talking about. It's the best way I can describe it. It's like an SOS. Haven't been yourself. And it's like, someone will pick up on it. A lot of you too, Taurus, have a tendency to not want to express yourself, but
but you do want to drop hints that you're in distress or feeling uncomfortable or something like that. Not everyone likes to express things the same way, so I feel like that's what you're going for. Maybe not even like consciously. Okay, I'm not sure if I want to do Oracle or this first. I'm gonna get this. So what is this SOS cry for help? And it's like, why is someone looking at you as like, they're drawn to it? Passion. Oh my God. It's like this person, this woman here is the embodiment of the person I drew. I said it almost had resembled a star or this light. And you just like, you see how this person's looking at them. Not only are they older, so usually like older people like to take younger people under their wing. Reminds them of their children, their grandchildren. It's like they, they sort of view each person as someone they want to guide, I suppose. Then we have passion. It's like someone that looks at you with passion. I'm even seeing someone that sees your potential. Sees who you could be. Sees the star in you. Sees the star qualities. It's almost like part of you not feeling seen or not feeling heard, which is why like this cry for help is. It's like maybe you don't feel um, like people are listening to you. Like she's listening to her read. It's almost like, listen to my ideas, listen to what I have to say, listen to my opinions, listen to how I'm feeling. It might not always be in a direct approach, but there's so much to be seen. So much passion. So I feel like this is going to be like an older person. Then we have renewal. I feel like something that's going to renew itself all because someone else believed in you or someone else just took the time to listen to you and notice that you haven't been yourself or notice that you just want to be heard and they're going to give that to you. If this reminds me too of how you can be in a group and there's that one person that's always getting cut off. People are talking over them. People just don't seem to care. And then all it takes is that one person going and acknowledging them, validating them. It's like with several people having different or opposing ideas, it's like it's important to validate all of them even before making a choice. So there's something about that as well. You're gonna be feeling validated. It's gonna make you open up again, especially when it comes to your feelings, emotions. Okay. I even see there, this cry for help has to do with media or books. It's like people that share quotes when they're upset, but the, you'll never see them like actually talking about it. It's like they share sad things on social media or they share things that are an inference or infer what's really going on in their life and then maybe people will message them going hey are you good hey how is this going i feel like that's going to be the same thing for you i don't even think you're trying to get attention though taurus it's like through the media through a book a book quote the content you're viewing is going to serve as some kind of hint hmm I'm even saying that's what you need to look for when it comes to your loved ones. It's like, have you noticed someone's not being themselves? I'm saying there's a, there's a need for you to look at that. Seven of Swords. The Sun.
I'm the Queen of Pentacles. Which reminds me of this, too. First and foremost, I'm seeing the Seven of Swords as not sneaky, but like when I apply my intuition and consider the circumstances here, I'm seeing this as dropping hints, but not dropping all of them. It's like dropping hints or dropping materials. Like this is how I feel. This is why I need an SOS. This is my cry for help. Literally, my cry for help. Because I want something to change. I want to be heard. I want my feelings to be seen. To be acknowledged. It's like, look at me. See me. Something important here about like you reading from something. Could it even be as simple as you just wanting people to acknowledge maybe your hobbies or something you've been working on? And I feel like you're going to get that. I'm getting exposure. But this looks the same way. There's that light, that star influence. Someone sees the star qualities in you. Or that light. I'm even seeing the sun here as that signal I was talking about. Hand gestures. Hand gestures are a way to signal people without actually speaking, right? And dropping hints is also the same as expressing yourself. Instead of crying or instead of saying, I'm sad, I'm angry. So it's like that's exactly what this is. And then we have the Hierophant. Which I see is the, the one that's going to pick up on this signal or this gesture. I remember I did a Leo reading in the past when I saw this as facial expressions or emotional regulation. This sun is blank. There's no emotion there. So it's going to have to take somebody to notice something's off. But I don't think this is going to be someone you're close to. But I definitely see this as some type of confidant you're going to have in the future or someone much older much wiser that can offer you some kind of guidance like hey i used to feel this way or i see myself in you somehow and i feel like you're actually going to end up venting being straightforward like i feel this i feel that rather, rather than it being Dropping a hint. So it's like dropping a hint leads to exposure, being seen, feeling seen, feeling acknowledged, and then it leads to the truth. You know what's really sad to me? The Ten of Swords looks like a breakdown. As in like it was bottled up for so long and now it's now it's all coming out. It's almost like this is where it's like all of the hints or all of the swords are being dropped. And there's no putting on a happy face. Hmm. We even have, I even forgot the higher font because I don't acknowledge signs that often because I feel like that's kind of stupid. Like it just has nothing to do with the reading. But here we have you, Taurus. But I was seeing this as not you. Which is interesting. So I feel like this applies to you as well. This is gonna sound really deep because I, I actually almost forgot about it, but a classmate of mine, someone that I graduated with, I'm not gonna say a name. This actually happened back in 2018 too where I lost another classmate to um, suicide. And everyone was, everyone was shocked, just like they're shocked now because he was so happy he was smiling all the time. And nobody noticed that cry for help, even if there were signs. So it's not, I'm not saying it's anyone's responsibility. Because like so many of us are hurting. So many of us put on that happy face every day. But if you do, if you do notice that, do notice that SOS. Maybe like reach out. Because sometimes you can be a stranger or they can be a stranger to you and they notice something's off before even people closest to them do. And it's just how it happens sometimes, even though it feels like it would be the opposite, right? I 
This screams like you are safe to open up here. You don't have to worry. We've been seeing the justice here as reasoning. Like, hey, I used to be there or I feel the same way. So I'm getting a mutual understanding rather than a debate or the justice system. Yeah, I'm literally seeing the Seven of Swords as that cry for help or dropping hints on how one is feeling. It's like an inside look into what you can't see on the surface. It's a lot here about that. Okay, Taurus. That's it of this art channeled message. Please like, subscribe, support the channel in any way you can. I would really, really, really appreciate it. And... Yeah. Bye.